Hi everybody, meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network Atmospheric River coming into the West Coast. You've heard us talk about that before, the jet stream here. The greens represent saturated air in the atmosphere. Pineapple Express, have you heard of that little dip that takes place out near Hawaii with that moisture coming on shore? There's also an upper level low spinning just off the Pacific Northwest and that will help the atmospheric river dive southward a little bit over the next 24 to 48 hours. This is a big weather headline because the amount of rain and snow that's going to come down over the next couple of days is impressive. Look at some of these snowfall totals as you line it up. One to two feet in some of the lower elevations in the mountains. And then you get the purples and reds here. We're measuring totals four to six feet by 12 a.m. on Wednesday, above about 6,000 feet across the mountains of California, and then stretching back up a little lower totals, more like two to three feet in some of the highest spots across uh, western Montana and then stretching into Idaho as well. Rainfall totals will be impressive too. Some spots in northern and central California will receive a month's worth of rain over the next couple of days. So that does increase obviously the risk of localized flooding and mudslides with a widespread two to four inches with some higher totals of three, four, five inches, potentially isolated six inch rainfall amounts that will come in between now and through the day on Tuesday and Tuesday night. Interestingly, here's the atmospheric energy, these bundles in yellows and oranges, and there's that energy coming into the West Coast today. Watch what happens. It dives through the Rockies into the central United States and then moves east. Where does it come? Over New England by the time we get to Wednesday night and Thursday. So that's our next weather maker that comes in and the storm system that will be moving from west to east across the central United States in the days to come. It's riding right along the boundary of warmth to the south, colder air to the north. So it's this battle zone that's taking place, coldest spots on Tuesday across the northern plains in Montana, where it will be sub-zero temperature-wise, but a lot of the country digging into some of this milder air that's coming in. As that storm ejects out of the Rockies, yeah, areas of sleet and ice from Iowa, stretching back down into Missouri and portions of Illinois during the day on Wednesday and into Thursday, it's up and down the eastern seaboard. Areas of rain, some heavy downpours, some mix and some snow. So let's zoom into New England. Next few days, you heard Matt talk about it earlier this morning, the few inches of snow that falls tonight in the mountains. Great news for ski country and some continued snow showers that will taper off during the day tomorrow. There's a little upper level energy swinging through, so I can't rule out a flurry for the rest of us. Otherwise, our Tuesday's pretty quiet. Same for Tuesday night, Wednesday as well. Kind of the quiet before the storm, setting the stage with cold air in place, sunshine, late day clouds that will thicken up during the evening. Right now, it looks like a Thursday morning arrival for this next system that comes in. And with enough cold air in place, it does look like it's snow for the majority of New England. The biggest question right now is where does the rain snow line set up by Thursday afternoon and evening as we get some relatively milder air to come into play. So this may be an all snow scenario for much of northern, central, even interior southern New England with some mix along the south coast that may come up by Thursday evening as the back edge is coming through from west to east. So it is a fairly progressive system. It comes in and out. It's just poor timing for commuting, particularly Thursday morning. It gets sloppy and continues through the afternoon, tapering off by the evening. Friday's quieter again with some snow showers that fire up across the mountains of northern New England. And that's ahead of the next system that comes in during the day on Saturday. Maybe a similar scenario where we're cold enough to start as snow and depending on track may get a little bit of a mix that comes into play. So we'll keep you posted one storm at a time. Little too early to put it on an accumulation map given the uncertainty of that rain snow line on Thursday. Keep in mind the energy is just coming into the West Coast today. So we'll keep you posted. It doesn't look like a blockbuster event but I'd say two to four inches or coating to two inches in southern New England is a fairly uh, likely scenario at this point. Highs today uh, for Tuesday in the 20s north, but 30s to near 40 south. The wind does kick up though, so it'll be kind of a blustery feel. Tuesday night, single digits and teens from north to south with some sub-zero readings across far northern New Hampshire and northern Maine. So we're getting the cold air to come back. Wednesday is a slightly below average day too. Teens in the North Country, 20s to lower 30s, with that wind generally 5 to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday night, 
Cold air still locked in place with single digits and teens, and that's why as the next round comes in on Thursday, it will be snow for many of us. We'll see if we can get that mix or that rain snow line to come into southern New England. So school days ahead for Tuesday and Wednesday, feeling like the 20s and teens, a little colder on Wednesday morning, and it is a day on Thursday that schools are going to have to keep an eye on here just because of the timing and the snow that moves in during the morning and continues much of the afternoon. You can track it all, of course, on our app. It's free. If you haven't downloaded it yet, give it a try. Free on the App Store and Google Play. Just search Noises One Degree Outside Weather. And, of course, we'll keep you posted on everything on social media and our website, the number one degree outside.com. Stay tuned for our monthly forecast as we take a look out through the remainder of February.